Google have just released new updates for Gemini 2.0 Flash, Flashlight, and Gemini 2.0 Pro. And today we'll be walking through exactly what it means, plus how to get free access to these APIs and how to use them step by step. Now you can see the official announcement from Google right here. So it's on February the 5th, just a few hours ago. And basically what they've said is that today we're making the updated Gemini 2.0 Flash generally available via the Gemini API in Google AI Studio and Vertex AI as well. They're also releasing an experimental version of Gemini 2.0 which we'll be testing out today. So Gemini 2.0 Pro thinking experimental is available inside the app as well. So we'll be testing it side by side, showing you how to build automation, showing you what you can use it for. You can see the benchmarks right here compared to the previous model. And additionally, we'll be comparing it against other models, for example, like ChatGPT 03 Mini and DeepSeek. Now there are two ways to access a new update. So you can go inside Gemini, for example, here, you can see we've got 2.0 flash thinking experimental with apps and it has reasoning across YouTube Maps and Google Search. We'll be testing that out in a second. And then also inside AI Studio, you can actually get access to all the new models for free. And for example, so you've got 2.0 Flash, Flash Lite, Pro Expand, and Flash Thinking Experimental. So let's try building something now. Now, another way we can use and test this is we can go over to AnyChat. Inside AnyChat, if we, this is available at Hugging Space. I'll leave the links inside the profit boardroom if you're on the video notes from today. And if we go down to Gemini, then we're going to select Gemini Flash Live Preview. And you can see all the models right here. And then inside the chat box, so we're just going to select Gemini Coder. And then inside here, we'll select Gemini Pro Experimental. And now you can basically code applications for free directly inside Hugging Face using the new models from Gemini. So for example, if I say create a self-playing snake game that moves all we can hit generate, and then it's gonna code it out like you can see on the left-hand side. And once that code is completely finished, you'll actually be able to preview the game itself and be able to test if it works, right? So you can see inside the code here, it's titled it self-playing snake game. And now we have the game that plays itself as snake, right? I'm not touching the keyboard or anything like that, it's just playing itself. Pretty crazy stuff. So easy to code it. Literally all you did was just give it a little prompt that said this, right? <laughs> Wild. And if we go inside a.google.com, what actually surprised me the most is it says craft a blog post with an image. But I know there's been all sorts of controversy around SEO and writing blogs with AI, but it seems like they actively promote it right now. That's one of the default prompts inside AI Studio, which is super surprising. So on the right hand side, we can just select one of these models and you can see the new ones at the top. So if we go with flash thinking, this is like a reasoning model similar to ChatGPT 03 mini or for example, DeepSeek R1. So what we're gonna do now is gonna take this prompt like you can see and plug that into AI Studio and see if it can build this out. We're gonna say write this in HTML. We'll hit run and you can see it's very similar to ChatGPT 01. So it's got that reasoning model, it's telling us the thoughts, the process, how it's planning out the structure. And then it's writing out the HTML. Now it is extremely fast when it comes to building this out. And you can see the content for the page right there. So it's very easy to automate the page step by step. Now let's take the code and we can just preview it over at liveweave.com. Let's check this out, see what we got here. And so we have the website built out, right? So it's got the links at the top of the navigation, nice little lander, information about us, bullet points. You can go back and forth and get that redesigned and improved, etc but it does give us, but I mean, it's created a 650 word landing page right there, ready to go. And that was super fast coming back to us. By the way, if you want all the prompts from today, I'm gonna to leave that inside the AI Profit Boardroom section if you go to the SAPs. This also comes with all my best SAPs for DeepSeek, Google Gemini, etc., and also a crash course on how to automate as fast as you possibly can most of your biggest tasks with AI, along with weekly coaching with me, as you can see. Now let's take it up a notch. So if we actually click on starter apps over here inside AI Studio, some other cool stuff you can do is just build apps straight off the bat, right? So for example, if you want to create like an, a video analyzer that can analyze your videos, look at them, understand what's going on, etc., then you can click on the plus sign down here and this will actually interact with your video. Here's an example. So I've loaded in this video about how to build agents with DeepSeek. This was a video I literally just created like yesterday. And you can see here, this is 16 minutes long, but the starter app can actually interact with a video, which is pretty crazy. So for example, if we type in paragraph here, we'll click generate. And we've said generate a paragraph that summarizes the video, keep it three to five sentences, place each sentence of the summary into an object center, set time codes, etc and that will just go off and analyze the video so it can interact really well with videos and now we have the output back like you can see so it's giving us the time codes the most interesting highlights 
the key moments from the video, etc., and exactly where to skip to. Pretty crazy that it can the AI can now just start interacting with your videos or with information about you. It can watch, it can understand the language, what you say, etc. If you go to stream real time over here, it gets even crazier. So if we go inside the model section and then inside here, for example, we can share our screen. I'll just share my screen now. Here we go. So for example, let's say we've got this website. We built out water blogging. It's absolutely popping off. But we want to know, okay, what can we do better with it? How can we get more SEO traffic? How can we get more customers? And also, what does this AI agent see and analyze that we cannot see? So let's test it out now. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to stream real time and we can actually share our screen and then ask Gemini about everything that we're doing. So if we click on share screen over here and then we shall select this. Okay, yes. it sounds like you are giving instructions on how to use the software. Is that right? Yeah, could you give me some tips on how to analyze this website? What do you reckon so far, etc.? Okay, let's analyze this website using the Google Search Console data you've shown. Based on what I see, you are looking at a 16-month performance report for the website, and it shows total clicks of 19.4K, total impressions of 713K, an average click-through rate of 2.7%, and an average position of 13. To get some further insights, you can check queries, pages, countries, devices, search appearance, and dates. Would you like to focus on any specific element for now? Could you give me an, analy an analysis of what you think is going right, going wrong, and what can we, we can improve so far based on the performance of this website? Okay, let's analyze what's going well, what could be improved, and what might be going wrong based on the performance data. It seems like the site is getting a good number of impressions with 713K over 16 months positive. However, the click-through rate is 2.7%, which suggests that while the site is being seen, people are not necessarily clicking through to the website, which should be improved. Also, the average position of 13 suggests that the site is not appearing in the top results. In terms of improvement, focus on improving the site's content to increase click-through rate and improve its search engine optimization to improve the average position. We'll stop recording there, but you can basically see the power of this. You can look at your screen, you can analyze patterns, it can give you feedback, it can give you objective advice that maybe you can't or your team can't sometimes. And it's really easy to set up, plus it's completely free. So we'll stop recording there, but you can see the power of this. You also can play back the voice and you can see the text version of the prompt right there. And it can basically analyze your website. Like for example, this is a website we built out with autoblogging and you can see that it pretty much got everything right when it came to the keywords, when it came to analyzing the website, the Google Search Console performance, etc. Like, it's amazing how the AI can just interact with you in real time, can give you very precise data. And actually that model has become a lot better. So AI Studio and all the new updates that have come out, they don't really get a lot of attention versus say something like DeepSeek or for example, ChatGPT. But the power of it is absolutely wild. You can set up apps, you can stream real time and interact with the AI in real time. You can build out your own prompts. You can code things in seconds. And this is not costing you a penny, right? So for example, with Gemini 03 or the new deep research features, I'm paying $200 a month for that. But I can use all of this completely for free. And here's where it gets even crazier. So if we go to get API key over here, we can generate free API keys and use those to automate whatever we want with the latest models of Google Gemini. So as an example of that, if we go over to mate.com, this mate.com can connect your apps to different APIs from AI, right? So for example, if you wanted someone to create content or answer emails, or for example, post on social media for you on autopilot, then you can do that using mate.com. And not just that, but you can also use this for free too, right? So you get a thousand operations per month with make, which is quite a lot, right? Unless you're a very heavy user, you're not going to rinse that too much. And then inside the scenarios, you can see all the stuff we've built, like for example, a chat GPT telegram bot, bulk content generators, auto bloggers, content update machines, email virtual assistants, etc. And all you need to do inside mate.com, if you want to use any of these automations is let's say, for example, you want to use, use a deep seek R1 content creator, Well, we can go inside here, or we can select open router. We can go inside the model. And then if we type in free, we also get access to Google Gemini flashlight and Gemini 2.0 pro experimental from Google completely for free using open router. Now, if you're not sure how to connect these, you just go to open router, you're going to sign in, grab an API key, and then you'll be able to access Gemini flash. And bear in mind, this was created on February the 25th. So this is a free model that you can use. It does say this model will move from free to paid pending a general rollout on February the 5th. But you can see here right now it's still free. So Google Gemini Flashlight 2.0 Preview. 
if you go inside mate.com, Google Gemini Flash Lite put Google Gemini Flash Lite 2.0 preview is free to use right now. And then for example, if you want to run this automation, let me show you exactly how this works. So we'll choose where to start. We'll choose manually. We'll select a keyword from the list, hit run once, and that is running our automation using the latest model from Google, but it is completely free. So now that automation is finished, if we check inside Open Router, we'll look at activity. So we use the Google Gemini Flash update, as you can see, and that cost us $0. So it is completely free right now. And you can automate basically anything you want using this process as well. So far, you've seen exactly how to build apps, tools, websites, how to automate all of this for free using a combination of Make and the free API from Gemini. And you've also seen how you can basically use like a stream real-time function to have an agent, like a personal assistant, who looks at your screen, gives you advice. It works perfectly as you've already seen, and you can do all of this completely for free. And so it's pretty wild stuff. Now you might be wondering, okay, which model is best for what, right? So you can see here, for example, 2.0 experimental is best at coding. Flash thinking is more like a reasoning model and flashlight when it does become paid, will be the most cost efficient model. So here's where it gets even crazier, right? So if we go inside Gemini now, and we're gonna select 2.0 flash thinking experimental with apps. This can actually use a reasoning model, but it can integrate with, for example, YouTube, right? So let's say, for example, there's a video, you wanna watch it, you don't have time to watch it. There's more content you can watch out there. And you're just like, okay, I wanna know the 80-20 of this. I wanna understand, okay, what does this all mean? So what we can do is we can say, okay, tell me about this video. And then you would insert the video URL that you want to research, right? So for example, let's take one of my latest videos. This one literally just published it yesterday. So this works with videos, even if they're brand new, even if they've just come out. And we'll say, tell me about this video. And you can see it's using the reasoning model and then it's connecting with YouTube. So it's got the YouTube icon right there. And then it's actually fed in all the information about it. So it's Deep Seeker 1 for three hour, 40 minute course. This video was published on February the 5th. It has 3,352 views likes 207 and you can watch the video right there and then it shows a preview right and if you actually go to the video that's exactly what it is it's fed it in real time which i've not seen any other ai really do as well as that now if we say okay let's test this let's see if it can actually watch the video and tell us the the breakdown of it so i'm going to say give me the 820 of the video notes and then i can provide you with the key takeaways from the deep seek r1 for three hour 40 minute course to give you the 820 i'll focus on the core concepts Here's all the information about it. Here's how it works, etc. And it just gave us the 820 of the video literally in one click, right? It saves a lot of time. This would be super powerful for research as well. So let's say, for example, you're trying to do competitor research on one of your biggest channels that you're competing with in the industry. Or let's say, for example, something new has been released like Gemini 2.0 Flash, and then you need to research it for the video or the blog that you're creating. Well, you can easily do it using this process. What we can also do is we can say, okay, based on this video, create a blog post. And I'm actually going to take one of my favorite prompts for transcribing blogs into videos. You know, based on, for example, how we actually take videos right now and rank them on Google, like you can see right here. So let's test this. So I'm gonna try and create a blog post like this just by feeding in the website URL and my favorite prompt for transcribing videos. Let's try that. So we've pasted that prompt in right here. By the way, if you want the prompt, feel free to get it. Link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. You can get free access to it. And now we have the blog ready to go. It's actually not bad at all. So it's all right. Let's dive into Deep Seek one Here's a video tutorial. Then it breaks it down, why it matters, how to set it up, etc. Some real life use cases. And it even links to my funnels as well. Like you can see, and that's pretty decent. The blog post itself is, is quite long as well. Let's see how many words that's generated. So normally like when you're doing this with Claude, it's gonna generate maybe 500 words. Let's see what we got back on the word counter plus there. So we got 1,000 words. So it's actually better than Claude for writing the content and transcribing it. Added some nice FAQs, added some nice CTAs right there. And that is a beautiful blog post based on the video that we just prompted directly into Gemini. Pretty nice. Honestly, that may be a process I just switched to instead of the custom project from Claude, honestly. And bear in mind, I'm on the free plan, right? So this is the free plan of Gemini. I'm not on the pay plan and you don't need to pay for the advanced model to use his features. Let's so now let's compare Gemini 2.0 versus DeepSeek R1 versus ChatGPT 03 Mini. And we'll switch actually to the thinking model just to make this a fair test. So I'm gonna say here, animation of falling letters with realistic physics in HTML. We'll run that inside R1 and we'll also run that inside ChatGPT 03 Mini, right? So this is the latest model from ChatGPT. 
This is the thinking model from DeepSeek. And this is the thinking model from Google. So that has come back to us really quickly. We've already got the code. DeepSeek is still thinking. O3 Mini has also come back to us. So we'll test these out now. So here's a code from DeepSeek. So let's test this out. We'll put the code from Google Gemini over here. Here we go. Let's plug that in. And then we have the code from DeepSeek over here. So DeepSeek R1. And honestly, when I compare them, it still looks like Gemini is not as good versus DeepSeek R1. So you can see here, DeepSeek R1's animation rolls infinitely. It's more colorful, it's more interesting. That's a better output than what we got back from Gemini. Now let's compare versus ChatGPT 3 Mini. So we'll copy this, plug that into liveweave.com. And that's a very similar output to what we got back from uh, Gemini, right? So Gemini is over here, that's the animation. And this is ChatGPT 3 Mini, very similar, right? I would say maybe that's slightly better because there's more letters. But that's about it. DeepSeek R1 definitely won that challenge, but it is a bit slower, right? And the other thing with DeepSeek is it doesn't have vision. So you can't upload images, you can't analyze videos, etc. And also the search feature right now for DeepSeek R1 is not working. So it's actually down the server, it's busy, etc. when we try it. Whereas inside Gemini, as you saw before, it can connect to YouTube, it can search in real time for you, it can feed in the latest data, and it's more powerful in that respect. Bear in mind, both of those models are free. Whereas for example, ChatGPT, to get the same amount of queries per month, you'd have to pay $200 per month using ChatGPT Pro's model. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is I plugged in all the prompts from today and the SAP inside the SAP section of the AI Profit Boardroom. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bids this month, and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on Autopilot, feel free to book in on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO donation plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one, -one. you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building, and how to turn SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get it, link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching, bye-bye.